Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Pawfology. My name is Michael Poff, and today I'm staying inside. I'm not really doing much, but I got a lot going through my head, and I just want to talk about it. What I talk about will be in the description below, slash you can just look at it at the bar at the bottom. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Okay, so right now um, I'm pretty excited for my friends who are going to be posting their first vlog their second vlog for their first vlog for vlogmas today chris and kirsten i'm excited to watch their video i don't think it's up yet but i'll watch that later today second thing that i'm excited about is my wife my wife found my glasses that my alien glasses that i really love and they've been missing for seven months these glasses are amazing I've really missed them. They're just fun to wear. You know, you wear them when you're driving, you wear them around. People are like, what's happening? This person's a crazy person. So I love those. Thank you, Emily, for finding those. My third thing happening in my mind is I love this. I love this hand lotion, O'Keefe's Working Hand Cream. Amazing. It makes your your hands soft. You can put it on your feet if you want to. You can put it where, you know, whatever. It's great. And I also love their O'Keeffe's Lip Repair. This is the best chapstick in the world. I love it. I normally get these items in my stocking for Christmas. So, oh my gosh, I'm making a move. I get it in my stocking for Christmas, and I love stockings. To me, the best part of Christmas is the stocking. Not the family, not the food, not my other presents. Here's the deal. If I want something, I could just go buy it. I, I don't like, you know, whatever. My my favorite thing, I love a good stocking. I love a good candy, high quality chocolate, okay? Good chocolate and the perfect candy in the world. Well, two of them. Chewy sweet tarts and nerd's ropes. Nerd ropes. They're amazing. Those two things complete my stocking and and uh, maybe some gift cards or something, I don't know. But I love a great stocking. I prefer a stocking more than any other present you could give me. It's just the best. So, oh my gosh, there's my oven. I'm making a pork roast or, you know, just a little one for Emily and I. So I love a stocking. My sister made me a homemade stocking one time and it was amazing. And I probably, I still have it definitely, I think. Oh, I do. I have to have it. If I don't, hopefully she never watches this video to let her know I possibly lost it. But that was amazing. So, but you know, what makes a good stocking? Great question. Maybe some lotion, some great lipstick, not lipstick, chapstick. Well, probably lipstick, you know, if you like lipstick, that probably makes a great stocking. Amazon gift cards or money, just putting money in there, but not really. Actually, I don't, I wouldn't just want money in there. The whole point in my mind of a good stocking is all the different candies, all the different chocolate, all the different little gadgets, a good yo-yo. Dude, you get me like a, a fancy yo-yo, maybe even a Beyblade. Come on. That's amazing. You know, maybe even uh, some high quality sunglasses. What, what's better than that? That's, that's all, like these high quality alien sunglasses. Come on. Who wouldn't want to get this in their stocking? It's iconic. It's fun. You give it to your friends and take pictures of them. You know? That's what I did to my friend Matthew. I, I made him wear these, or maybe I photoshopped them on. I don't remember at this point. Let's see. Also today, I've been thinking about success and like, this is going to be a bunch of jumbled words and jumbled thoughts, but I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. I don't have that that many deep thoughts on success. But one of my thoughts about success is some of the happiest and most positive people that I know are successful. And some of the like most successful people at a company that I know that are high up, they're like super positive, they're super nice. They're like, "Oh, you're doing great. You're awesome. That's so good. You're so good at that." They're so encouraging. And I'm talking like the presidents of a company, not, not like a VP. Great. If you're a VP, not, I mean, oh, actually I know a VP in my life. I'm not thinking of you. I'm just saying like, I'm talking about like the head person. It's amazing how happy those people can be. And I know it's not just because of the money they're getting paid. It's just like, they're, I don't know, in my mind, they're just like really positive people. 
So I, I imagine a lot of success probably is around how positive and nice of a person you are to work with. But also I was thinking um, success uh, is a lot, is really kind of based on luck and the opportunities you were given. Because you can be super good at a job or super good at something in life, but so much of life is just you're at the right place at the right time or you know the right person at the right time. So, and possibly some other things, but really that's what it comes down to maybe. And, and you could even like string that all the way down to the environment you grew up in. Like you were in this environment at the right place at the right time at the right age to develop that mindset. Or you could even say you were the certain child in, in your family that had just the perfect mixture of whatever going on in your mind or whatever's going on in your family. Everyone was good to you. Your environment was great. You had a great class you went to uh, school with. Everyone, you know, a lot of things add up. So I've been, yeah, so that probably didn't make sense at all. So I'm moving on. I'm kind of thinking, so I was thinking about that. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know what else is happening. Oh, I was thinking about K-Cups. Okay, so I might have mentioned this before. I really like coffee. I have not owned a K-Cup machine for myself um, in a long time. I did go through a phase maybe like two or three years ago where I bought all the K-Cup machines at Goodwill for like two months straight, and I took them all apart and did a bunch of weird stuff to them, but I don't have them anymore anymore. At a certain point, I probably had like seven K-Cup machines and it was really weird and I had to get rid of them because, you know, who, who needs that much K-Cup machines? I shipped one to my mom and gave one to another person. Okay, all that to say, K-Cup machines, um, they make pretty bad coffee, but I will say uh, they're pretty good. Even though, like, I, I can be a coffee snob, but I can lower my standards if I know I'm getting a K-Cup coffee cup, a cup of K-cup, it's pretty great. Also, I was thinking about that is K-cups have different amounts of coffee in them depending on the brand and depending on what type of K-cup you get. So like a bold K-cup might have whatever, however many grams of coffee. Like, I don't know, but I was measuring them yesterday and I can't remember the number. I was going to say 14 grams, but I guarantee you there's not 14 grams in there. I bet it's like 12 or 11. So that's interesting. So you might buy a brand of K-Cup and let's say Starbucks, and there's only like three-fourths of the amount of coffee that might be in another brand. And you might buy the bold version of that coffee, and it might just be that there's more coffee in that K-Cup. It's so interesting. So you might be buying the same brand, but you might be getting more coffee if you buy this certain type. Very, very confusing, very interesting to me. So you're paying the same amount of money for more coffee. But some people don't like bold coffee. Is there even such thing as bold coffee in a K-cup machine? I mean, I know there's a, there's versions of K-cup coffees that are like jet fuel, which I don't think that's made anymore. But there used to be this K-cup called jet fuel. Maybe it's made. I don't know. I don't think it is. But, and that was like highly caffeinated coffee. Now there's like Death Wish, Death Wish coffee and Rev. I like Rev. I haven't had it in a long time, but it's pretty good. All that to say, another thing, K-Cup versus Nespresso. I don't know, man. Nespresso, it's, it's the only Nespresso that I'm like, I really like now is their decaf. I think... Nespresso's decaf is really great because when you're getting decaf coffee, it's like, dude, this already sucks. Unless you grind your own decaf coffee beans, but even then it's like, it still kind of sucks in my opinion. Like even, okay, I have expensive decaf coffee. I bought multiple expensive decaf coffee. I'm still like, this kind of sucks. I've had decaf espresso. I bought expensive decaf espresso. I'm still like, this is not that great. Now, the reason Nespresso decaf coffee is good, in my opinion, is because of the foam. 
I don't really like the foam on regular coffee from Nespresso. And honestly, I think most of Nespresso tastes the same. But when the foam gets on that decaf coffee, it just makes it like so much better than it than it probably should be. So that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts on Keurig versus K-Cup versus whatever, hand grind it or your own, grinding your own whole beans. Hmm, what else is going on today? I went to uh, I went to the post office during my lunch break, and that was that was good. I was really uh, thinking it was going to be awful. I thought like it was going to be an awful experience. I thought the people would be really mean. I had never been to the post office in downtown Indy, and because it's a bigger area, I was thinking it's going to be longer lines and all this stuff. And the ladies or the gentlemen, whoever's working up there, they're going to be really mean. But that was not the case. I went in. Everything was good to go. All I had to do was drop it off. And I always get a receipt. It's just my thing. I don't. I just want a receipt. I want to know that they got it, that whatever, they scanned it. I don't even know if that does anything, but that's what I did. It literally took like five minutes and I was out. Like, thank goodness. And the lady was so nice. Like, so nice. Uh, uh, I mean, everyone was nice. A homeless man came in and was kind of bugging them, you know, which whatever. They were super nice to them, him, you know. It was, it's like they probably seen him before. They're not yelling at him or whatever. They are just, it was all around great experience. So I got a couple things shipped. What else? Um, I had three people text me, three, three people text me about crypto today, which is pretty unusual. It's very unusual. No one really texts me about crypto. If they do, it's maybe like once every two weeks. Interesting, because Bitcoin's going up and it's making the news. And about a week ago, I made a video about how it'll be interesting to see how Google Trends will, uh, or not Google Trends, how Bitcoin will begin to start trending over the next couple months. And I think it's happening. I mean, especially considering that people are texting me about it. Like, wow. If you, let me see, I, I'm not going to do that. So Bitcoin's going up. I It's interesting to me. I think Bitcoin will probably hit 30000 in the next two months and then drop back down to 17,000. But I do not ever see it going below 10. So I think a lot's gonna be happening with the cryptocurrency market. And my favorite exchange, I can't use anymore. Binance, you guys don't care about this. If you're still watching this, comment down below, Polar Pop. Like Polar Pop from the gas station. I'm drinking a Polar seltzer water. Okay, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, Binance. None of you watching this probably even know what this is. My favorite exchange I can't use anymore because the U.S. government is like not banning it, but I, they might be banning it. Anyways, Binance is closing, uh, closing down to U.S. customers. Now, there are ways around it. And if like, yes, I know how to get around it. But do I want to? Not really. I mean... Not really, personally. Will I? Probably not. But there's a, there's simple ways to get around it. But I'm not going to do that. It's not it's not worth my time. But I do have a have a bunch of Binance coin that I got to sell in the next like what is it seven days? Oh my gosh, that's fine. I'll probably just buy some other stuff. I might buy uh, I don't know what I'll buy. Probably some Ethereum. Okay, that's that's uh, all. That's all I've been thinking about. Sorry if it was a uh, a lot, a lot happening as far as my words and what I'm talking about. So, but this is day two of Vlogmas. I didn't go anywhere. Not every video is going to mean me going somewhere because uh, that's not sustainable for me. I would probably go crazy if I had a videotape every time I went somewhere. So, but thank you for watching. Uh, if no one's told you this, you're loved. I love you guys. Thank you for all those who have subscribed. If you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel. It's, I'm going to be posting every day for the month of December. I might post every day in January. I guess it just depends how much, uh, how what happens, how much I'm I uh, get into posting or 
if I don't go crazy or if I don't overthink a video and I'm just whatever, I just got to post, you know, man, I got to put that roast in. I'm going to go do that. I might, this is going to be gross. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. And if you're still watching this, thank you. Thank you. You're, you're a true friend. Okay. Tonight, I don't have any like starch, starchy stuff. I don't have potatoes. I don't have anything really that goes with roast. So I might just have a roast broccoli tacos. Ew. No, I'm not doing that. Never mind. That sounds gross. Never mind. Okay. I'm going to talk to my friend Lucas, hopefully, in, in the next five minutes. Lucas, thinking of you. Highly doubt you ever see this, but we're going to talk very soon. Oh, I've also been thinking about my friend Joe. Shout out, Joe. You probably also will never see this. Thinking of you. Sorry we never talk. You know, it's just one of those things. I'm sure we'll talk someday. Okay, that's all, everyone. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, it will be a uh, more interesting video or not. Maybe it will just be this again. If so, great. Hopefully, you got something from this video. Okay, everyone. Bye. Have a great day. See ya.